Yes, yeah, so I've, I've been teaching Old Testament for a long time now and uh, come to appreciate the, the value of the Old Testament for everything else. Uh, if you don't understand the Old Testament, it's going to be really hard to make sense of the New Testament. Uh, quite often when Wycliffe Translators goes into a new community and is translating the Bible into their language, they used to start translating the Gospel, but then they discovered that often it was more effective to start off translating Genesis and some of the Psalms to give people the background story. Uh, otherwise, the gospel didn't really communicate. Uh, so the Old Testament, as I tell my New Testament colleagues, once you get the Old Testament down, the New Testament's really easy. All these things New Testament scholars fight o over endlessly. You think, well, if you just understood the Old Testament context, it would make a lot more sense. Um, so I teach uh, uh, at, uh, at Grove City College. I, uh, I teach uh, Hebrew. We have an extensive Hebrew program. Uh, we have uh, uh, two years of, of Hebrew that students do, and some go on and do more study beyond that. Uh, I uh, teach uh, a variety of electives, uh, major prophets, Judges and Ruth, uh, Biblical Theology of Worship, which is a particular interest. Uh, I think people often uh, pick and choose verses in terms of worship, uh, or we adopt a, a, a kind of uh, uh, Old Testament versus New Testament approach. You know, that's Old Testament worship, doesn't, doesn't apply to us. We're New Testament Christians. Now, from my Westminster background, I understand, you know, hermeneutic is redemptive historical. We see all of those lines of continuity and discontinuity. Uh, and I think that really equips us to then uh, evaluate how all of this rich Old Testament material and worship then feeds through into New Testament, uh, undergirds, underpins all of the, the New Testament teaching on worship and then feeds through into our context today. For example, you'll find uh, some people will go to, uh, to Nehemiah uh, 8 uh, where Ezra stands up in front of the people reading the law uh, and say, see, only ordained teaching elders should read the scriptures. Uh, other people will go to, uh, to Nehemiah 12, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, dedication of the walls of Jerusalem, where you have the, the Levitical choirs marching around, say, see, march for Jesus. Uh, it, it's more complex than that. You have to understand how passages are working within their particular uh, context. Uh, see how passages, in some uh, cases, are pointing forward to Christ. Uh, well, David dancing before the ark, right? So one, th what, you know, some people will read that and say, "See there, uh, you know, there's a warrant for for dancing and worship," uh, without asking the question, "Well, why is it specifically David who's dancing there? Uh, he's dancing in a linen ephod. Uh, you know, is is that normative? Should we be dancing in linen ephods in our churches? Uh, uh, what is it uh, that's unique about that instance? Uh, as they bring up the ark." Uh, to the center of Jerusalem in this triumphal procession. Uh, and David, even though he's the king, is willing to humble himself and, uh, and be made fun of by, by Michal, his wife, uh, as a mark of his submission to God. Uh, that points us on, points us forward to, uh, to a greater march uh, up to Jerusalem uh, that is not bring the ark to the center of the city, but is carrying a cross up a hill outside. Uh, in which, uh, likewise, the central character is, is uh, displaying his humility uh, as Jesus goes, goes to the cross. Uh, you know, so there's a foreshadowing of, of, of that uh, in the story, uh, which I think gives you a different cast on it, puts it in a different context. Uh, well, we've planted a church in Grove City alongside uh, teaching there, and in a couple of weeks' time, uh, we have our organization service. We're going to have three elders and four deacons, uh, and uh, that's a very exciting move for us. So pray for us as we, uh, as we organize, as we move ahead as a, as a, a leadership team there, uh, that God will give us unity, will give us uh, wisdom, uh, will give us insight as to how to reach out with the gospel in, in our community there and uh, that God would, would firmly establish uh, that church as a place where the gospel is, is clearly proclaimed.